So when you and I see others as gifts, we know one thing, never use another person. Hello, today we're doing liturgy prep for Wednesday, February 10th. And a fundamental question that, uh, is, that comes to us when we reflect on these readings is, how do we do good and avoid evil? In other words, how do we live a virtuous life? Well, if we look at the first reading in Genesis, we see God creating Adam out of nothing. He has created you and me out of nothing. So what is the defining truth here? Your life is a gift, my life is a gift. How are we going to live the gift? Well, in addition to having the very gift of life, God also has given all of us Catholics and Christians the gift of baptism. And so this is a receiving of supernatural life, where we're baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and the most holy trinity dwells within us. We're filled with grace. So when we go out to choose the good and avoid the evil, we're not approaching this just with what I have as an individual or what you have as an individual on a human level. We also have God's love within us. This is so fundamental. Now, we want to thank God for this double gift, the gift of our human life, the gift of our supernatural life through baptism. And we do this, uh, one way of doing this is thanking God um, through our actions and living a life of virtue. So when we do this, purity counteracts lust. Generosity counters greed and patience overcomes anger. This is the virtuous life, choosing the good. Now John Paul the Great, Saint John Paul the Great, had a beautiful way of talking about this. He talked about what he called the law of the gift. What does that mean? Well, it means that only if you and I give our life away to others, but first of all, give our life to God, then give our life away to others. That's how we discover who we are as persons made in God's image and likeness. Now, I just have a small story um, from when I was doing graduate work in Rome, Italy as a layman and many years ago, and I decided I needed a break from the books, so I'd go over to Mother Teresa's house for homeless men behind the Colosseum, and they were serving 500 homeless men, one huge lunch every day at noon. And so I was up there, it was in a four-story building, and I was up there working in the kitchen with a number of the nuns. And this one nun was cooking chicken in the largest pot I'd ever seen. It was this tall and that wide, and they were just throwing chicken in there one after another and cooking it, and then they'd pull it out and put it on all these plates for these men. And there was 500 men, and they only had... I guess they're going to feed these 500 men in one hour, so they had to move fast. But one of the things that impressed me was they not only moved fast, but they still had a very uh, beautiful tenderness for these men. You could see that these men were their brothers. These men were their friends. And uh, one of the nuns in particular would just tell me a little story about this man or that man, which really personalized um, the friendship that she had developed. And it was a deep friendship, you know, where she really cared about this guy, this guy cared about the sisters. And so in doing this, it took me out of myself, took me out of my books, and helped me to see each one of these homeless men as a gift. That helped translate into seeing the other people in my life as a gift. So when you and I see others as gifts, we know one thing. Never use another person. Always see that person as a gift. Treat them as a gift. And that means that we'll always see the good in them, and will be inspired by God's love to love them and to be compassionate and to see them as members of God's family. For we are all one family in God. Ave Maria. Mm -hmm.